On Sunday, we'll have the final that few predicted, with Nigeria taking on Burkina Faso. Nigeria aiming for their first title in close to 20 years, while Burkina Faso have never previously progressed this far in a major tournament. Andy Richardson now reports from Johannesburg's National Stadium. In 2010, South Africa's National Stadium bore witness to Spain winning their first World Cup title. Fast forward just under three years and it's Africa's biggest sporting prize that's up for grabs here. This venue has been central to South Africa's sporting and political history. It was where Nelson Mandela made his first speech in Johannesburg after his release from prison. And in 1996, it was where South Africa won the Africa Cup of Nations title. Now it's Burkina Faso and Nigeria looking to make their own piece of sporting history. Nigeria may be the favourites, taking on a Burkina Faso side who've never been to a major final before. But the last of Nigeria's two titles arrived during the playing days of coach Stephen Keshi back in 1994. It's about my country, my nation. It's about putting smile, happiness, joy in their faces. And, and I think Nigerians, they deserve this. It's been a long time. And that's all I just want for them. It's not about me. It's not quite the final home fans had been hoping for, but after their team's recent history of failure, South African supporters do have a slight spring in their step again, following the side's spirited run to the quarter-finals. They put so much effort, so much training. It, it, it was actually the best for me. They did their best and I'm very proud of them. As much as they didn't win, fine, I accept, and, but I'm still proud of them. I'm so sad that they didn't win because I wanted them to take that Afghan Cup. But now I go for Burkina Faso. I want Burkina Faso to have a chance at least to win for once in their lifetime. South Africans are making the most of these final few hours of hosting duties. After the quick-fire double of a World Cup and a Cup of Nations, it will be some time before a tournament of this scale returns to their country. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.